I'm Martin Schulz, working at Fujitsu Research Institute, the global think tank of the Fujitsu Group, looking at economic trends from a technology perspective. When we look at Japan and the challenges it has been facing over the last two decades, we really look at the future of what we are seeing in Europe in particular, very much in Asia in the future, but partially in the US as well. An aging society, demographics that tend to shrink an economy and not to grow it anymore have to be addressed. When we look at Asia right now and follow the trends at the top of the minds of uh, uh, policy makers and corporate CEOs, demographics is one of the very important trends. Asia has been the youngest region, growing tremendously over the last decades and now very fast becoming the oldest societies anywhere. Japan has been a forerunner of these trends, being the youngest in the 60s, 70s, then Demographics took a turn. Japan has been adjusting over the last 20 years and learned the lesson about demographics, how to adjust to become a mature economy, a mature society. Asia, the rest of it is just at the edge of it. In emerging economies, we usually first have raw growth trends, uh, urbanization, copying technologies, implementing them, investing at extreme levels to get everything growing and moving. It can last two decades, maybe even three in, in China's case, but it runs its course. What we are seeing in technology in Asia so far, a lot of copying has been done, a lot of growth has been done, but now it is the next level. Japan has done that already a long time ago and is now at the next frontier. This adjustment is an enormous challenge to anybody in Asia, but also an enormous opportunity in terms of managing it, or in terms of boosting productivity to a level that becomes manageable. But this is a kind of productivity gap at a kind of adjustment. This is what we are seeing now in the UK, for example, or the US. The economies are gradually growing again, but the productivity is not really picking up. In terms of the effort we are putting in, Growth is also not coming back. Uh, our colleagues in the US now call this the new normal. We work hard, we have all the technologies, but growth is not picking up as in the old days. Japan already had that experience. It's our normal normal by now. What we learned is it takes a long phase when we move from one situation, from one technology push to the next level. In an aging society, it would be about efficiency, productivity implemented in a way that is not directly providing to growth anymore, but to well-being. Much better services, in particular in health, in infrastructure, in mobility, in communications. This is what aging societies need. When we look at how technology is evolving in education, in healthcare, we see completely new levels of caring, of focusing with technologies, humans and the well-being. And this is the introduction of technology into what we do as humans. This is human-centric innovation that is really driving not just markets, but society. And this is what we should be focusing on over the next years and decades.